Hey guys, it's Andy here. Quick update on a cell modification I made uh, for the electrodes. It's something I was thinking about lately and um, I needed a fix, so I just came up with a good solution this morning. Uh, normally this is the original cell and you could see the electrodes. Um, this is how they would be. They would, they just kind of flopped around in there. So there was uh, no uniformity from cell to cell. Um, so it, it really wasn't efficient and every cell was a variable. It, it really wasn't good. So originally I was thinking of maybe making some type of clip that would hold them together in a uniform fashion. Uh, but then this morning I, d I found out, I said, I just put in these channels here down in the plastic. I just put it on the milling machine and milled them in. And now these, the electrodes are in there solid and which is great. I didn't need to, to make anything special. All I did was cut in those little channels, press them in. And now they're about a, roughly about an inch apart and they're solid. Then uh, one good thing also is uh, since these were water filters, uh, it used to have a paper filter in them that would go around this boss and down around that boss in the center to lock the filter in place. So uh, one of my concerns is, is that the tips of these electrodes would hit and cause a spark in here and then explode the cell, which is, which is bad, okay? And then, um, so by using this same boss spacing, which is the same as that one down there, when we put the cell together, you can see that boss in the bottom actually keeps the electrodes apart so they'll never touch. And then there's no risk of a uh, spark or explosion. So, which is a good thing. So, uh, I'm really pleased with this. I, I can't wait to uh, get this one back on the rig and get all the other ones uh, modified up. Uh, right now you can see them. They're just like really far and, and floppy, which is the way they were, which is not good. So step by step, a little progress. So that's it. Stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.